Hi, it's Lori Ballin in Las Vegas with Lori Ballin team at Keller Williams. And I got a message this morning that inspired me to make this video. That message was um, somebody looking for specific campaigns to work rentals. And by the way, she brought up a very good point that with inventory being so limited, rentals are where some agents are still able to take advantage of the market. It's, it's, a, it's a strange thing with limited inventory. Anyway, as far as these smart plans go, I want to show you that you can actually go into a library and grab smart plans that other agents have created and shared. These smart plans are rated. I'm going to show it all to you. Let me show you how I got how I get here first, okay? So we're going to go to the home screen. This is where you first start off with command. We're going to go over to the left-hand side and we're going to scroll down to smart plans. Which icon is it? Hold on. That one. <laughs> Sorry. So home, contacts, tasks, smart plans. Okay. Now, once we get in here, this is where you would create your own smart plan or edit a smart plan that you already have. Instead, we're going to click on this tab up here called library. Now from the library, you are able to download the smart plans that Keller Williams have created for you. You're also able to access a shared library where other agents post their smart plans for you to use. Okay, so what we do is right here, you just go up to search and you type in something like rent because people call them different names. So I usually start off with a shorter search where if like if you put rentals, you're only going to see so many things like this one says rent versus buy rental leads. So we'll kind of take a look and see how they apply. Um, rental renter. See what I mean? Renter. Okay. Then right here, smart plan name, you can scroll down and you can change this to look up by author or by description. So let's just say you have heard about some, somebody was on a panel at Keller Williams and they said that they've uploaded 10 smart plans. Well, you can go to author name and you can look up that agent and you can find all the smart plans that that author has posted. You also can look up the description. And then over here we have a filter. And this filter is basically how long the smart plan lasts, the author, how many touches, how many agents are using it, and the overall ratings, if you want to look it up by ratings, okay? So it's really cool here that we have this ability here to look at star ratings and how many agents are actually using that smart plan. So for example, in this particular one, it was created by Lauren Vaughn. This is a free smart plan. There are 127 agents that have that are using it. Now that doesn't really tell us a lot. We don't know if they've kept it, if they like it, you know, but at least it tells us that for some reason, 127 people went and grabbed this smart plan from the library. And then here it says that there's only two ratings. So we, you know, two people have given it, one person gave it a four and a half, the other one gave it a five. Still doesn't tell us a whole lot. Over time, as these things start developing, we'll start seeing more and more of that, okay? But we can see that there's 10 steps in the smart plan. Uh, it lasts for 16 days and there's five touches. So touches are gonna be calls, emails, text messages, where steps are going to be other activities like delay or loop. They're part of the um, formula. So let's take a look at what it actually is. So if we click here, we can view the steps, okay? And as you hover over the steps, you'll be able to see what the messages are, okay? So this first one here says, hi, Bob, thanks for reaching out to me about rental properties in the Baton Rouge area. If you are still interested in searching for a rental property, you can click this link to search for available rentals in Baton Rouge. Once you click the link, you can then change your search criteria, etc., etc. Now, here's what I want to caution you about. When agents upload links 
and they upload signatures, that means you have to edit it all. You cannot just go grab this and publish it straight. So we're gonna go over that in a second. I'll show you how to edit it, okay? So then that's her first one, send a simple email, so that's a touch. Then the second one, send an SMS message. So this is a text message. Hi, Bob, thanks for reaching out to me about rental properties, if you're still interested. So her text messages her text message matches her email that she sent day one, okay? And based on how this campaign, um, her smart plan is, these go out at the same, on the same day. I'm not gonna say at the same time because the text messages have particular hours that they can send within. It's, uh, I think it was a Keller Williams setting that they can only go between like 10 a.m., 10 or 11 a.m. Uh, tech Central Standard Time up until like seven. It's within a reasonable window of hours that people would be accepting text messages, right? Um, and where the email is gonna go out should be automatically, but depending on how their email distribution works, okay? Then there's a three day delay and then another message gets sent out. Hi, Jane, are you still looking for a rental property in the Baton Rouge area? I'm here to assist if you are. Then there's a three day delay. Then there's another text message. And then there's a four day delay. Then there's another text message, five day delay. Okay, so let's just say, overall you like the bones of this smart plan, okay? We're gonna click add smart plan so that we can take a look at what it looks like, okay? Um, it says to us that this is a bundled smart plan, which means it has multiple smart plans rolled into one sequence and that you'll need to download all of the contents to get started. So click download. So it's gonna, it wants to make sure that you have both smart plans downloaded in order to use it, okay? So we've d done all of that. Um, that's interesting. Let me see if we, it gave it to us. There was no confirmation that it actually downloaded, so I'm not sure if it did. So let's go over to my smart plans. Oh, it did. I'm, I might've missed it if it was there. I didn't see a confirmation. Okay, so what you don't wanna do is automatically go put a bunch of people on this smart plan without edit, editing it first, or it's going to say Baton Rouge, and it's gonna say Lauren, and etc etc so instead you're going to click this little pencil up here and now it's going to open all of the steps so what you would want to do is scroll down here and make changes thanks for reaching out to me about rental properties in i'm in las vegas so i would change that to the las vegas area if you're interested in searching for rental property you can click this link okay now i'm going to open her link in a new tab so you can see where she sent them so she sent them to her Keller Williams website, her KW Command website, and she sent them to rental. So let me show you how you can create this page. Basically, you go to the front end of your Keller Williams website, okay? And here you can see we have for sale and we have for rent. I'm gonna go Las Vegas, Nevada, and now this should be all rental properties. See to the right, all rental properties. All you have to do is grab this link. That's the link we're gonna use. If you wanna shorten it for text messages too, just go over to uh, any link shortener. Bitly is one and it's free. Go to create, paste that link in there. And then we're gonna copy it. We're gonna go back over to our editing here so click this link now to edit that link you just click on this little link icon up here it'll open the old link you want to get rid of that whoops get rid of the one on the bottom and paste yours right there and we don't need another oh hold on that might not have worked Let me try this again let's do this let's click this link i just deleted her link there this link to search there we go okay see there okay once you click the link you can change your criteria now down here what you want to do is you want to change this to your info okay 
follow your broker regulations. If there is information that you need to put in that signature, make sure that you put them in there. What I do is I keep a little Apple Notes. I use Mac and I have a little Apple Notes and I just have my signature with my license number and everything and I just copy and paste that really quick in here. I don't know why we don't yet have um, automatic inserts of signatures. I'm not sure yet why that's happening. I would imagine it's gotta be coming. But so you wanna make sure that you cover that and then you wanna go on to the second step, okay? So you're gonna leave this info in there. That's a merge field and that's gonna put their name in there. But then you wanna go back through and make those same changes again in the second one and then just paste in your short link and we'll delete hers. Okay, and then her signature got cut off. So, the, so what that's telling me is this text message is way too long because it's getting um, cut off. So I would shorten this. Thanks for reaching out. You don't need to say to me. Thanks for reaching out about rental properties in, I'm going to say Vegas. If you're still interested in searching for rental property, click this link to search for available rentals in Las Vegas. And then I would just say, let me know what you, let me know when you want to see one. Lori Ballin. Keller Williams. Okay, something along those lines. If you look right here, it says right here, um, 302 characters out of 480. So your text message is going to allow for 480 characters. And right here, it says I have 302 out of 480 used. So you want to make sure you don't go beyond 480 or it's going to get cut off. Okay, then you go down and do the same thing with each one of these messages. Once you're all done with this, you can click save. Then you click this little icon with the person on it, and then you can start adding people from there, or you can go back and add people from your database. But And I've got other videos you can watch on how to do the whole smart plans. But today, I just wanted to make sure that you really understood how easy it was. In fact, you know what? Let me just click Save. And see, it automatically opens. Who do you want to add? So you can add people by name. You can add people by tags or the next contact you talk to, you can go in and manually add them to the smart plan from the contact record. It's uh, super easy now to be able to do all of those, okay? So that's how easy it is. If you find something you like, jump in or need, jump into that smart plans library, type in a quick search by keyword and adopt somebody's smart plan, make changes as needed, click save and off you go. I'm Lori Ballin in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you so much for joining me today.